utilization is not just for albuterol and ipratropium. A fine mist of lidocaine can be great for nasal and airway analgesia, and the pediatric literature describes using atomized fentanyl or even midazolam for seizure control when there's no IV access available. Even nebulized Narcan can be used effectively for people who've overdosed on opiates or opioids. The uh, standard nebulizer mask can accomplish all these tasks, but it's not that precise. A large amount of the medicine just sort of floats around and sticks to the patient's face, which um, doesn't do a whole lot unless the patient can actually lick their own face. You can buy really excellent atomizer adapters online for uh, medical syringes, but a lot of uh, ERs don't stock them. To make a concentrated jet of nebulized medication, take a standard neb kit, but throw away the components for the T piece that we normally give the patient. Once you've got your nebulizer assembled, then add the medication the way you normally would, and then cut a small section of tubing from another neb kit and tuck the domed end in through the top of the nebulizer the way you see here. Now seal everything up with a little bit of tape and turn on the gas. And you'll see that you get a very, very fine, well-directed spray of nebulized medication coming out of the tube. Then just place the tube in the patient's nostril and let the medication flow on in. I suppose uh, if you needed to, you could even advance the tubing into the pharynx and have that jet blasting right onto the vocal cords if you needed to do an awake intubation or something like that, although I freely admit that I've never tried it. 